Hey everybody, this is Ori from Circuit and I'm going to show you in this video how to install the Contact Form 7 plugin for WordPress and actually how to make a contact page or a contact form to put it anywhere you want. Okay, great. So what we're going to do on this sample uh, domain is we installed a clean WordPress, there's sample data only, and we're just going to start from the beginning, okay? So first thing we need to do is install the actual plugin. So let's click on Add New, New Plugin, and we're going to use a search box to type in Contact Form 7. Okay, find the specific one which is right here. I like to click on it and verify that this is the actual popular one. It has good reviews, it has a lot of downloads, and I click on Install. Okay, now it's going to download the package and all we need to do is activate the plugin. Now, um, if this is a live site or if this is an important site to you, you always want to make backups of the database and the files before you do any kind of new installation, just in case you have uh, messed up code or some kind of uh, other plugin that is interfering and it causes some kind of problem. Okay, but in this case, this is just a sample domain just for the video tutorial so we can actually uh, move forward and run faster. Okay, so now I go here, um, of course it was activated, and I'm going to click on the settings. Okay, now by default, um, a new installation, you'll have a specific contact form right here. So let's look at it, let's edit, and if you add a new one, it'll basically be the same. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is you're going to want a specific name. This is the name for you to be able to be organized. So let's just call it contact for video viewers maybe. Okay. And of course I can save. Let's save it for now. Okay, perfect. Now here I have different tabs which will have different settings and setups. So the first one is the form tab. This is the actual form that will be created. This is a simple representation of how a form will be set up. Okay. so. This text in this uh, paragraph right here will be just be the text that is describing to the user, to the visitor of that form, what do they need to do with that field, okay? And the ones with the brackets are the actual setup themselves, okay? So if I want, for example, a, um, let's say, a text field, then I'll click on the text button right here, or I can excuse me, or I can use the actual, if I already know how to make it in simple contact form 7 code, I can do it here, okay? So this is just representing the type of field that is there and if, it, if it's required and then what the actual field name will be, okay? So you have all of these. So play around with the different types right here. So I type an email, I can set up as a required field or not. What is the actual field name? What are the default values? and any kind of styles for CSS that I want. Okay, perfect. Um, and if I do that, let's say I click on the required field right here, you can see that the asterisk got added right there. Okay, got removed. Um, this is my field name, etc. Okay, great. So pretty, si pretty simple. Um, if you have any question, I'll be happy to answer, but uh, if not, the contact form 7 documentation should have more information. Uh, very easy. It's pretty, pretty uh, simple stuff. Okay. So this is the, the sample field. If I want to add another field, I'll again go to the place I want, either duplicate it, use the code, or use these simple buttons, okay? Once this is finished, okay, then I, I would click on save, okay? So even though we didn't do anything, let's click on save, okay? Let's go to the next tab, mail. This will actually specify the from and to and all of the addresses and the actual subject line and anything additional you want when the form gets filled out, what which place gets an email. So usually forms, or all the time forms, have a confirmation email that needs to get sent. Um, so you will specify all of the settings themselves. Okay, great. So who is it from, who is it to, subject, etc. Uh, now additional headers are more for the specific uh, email uh, or mail server to send additional things. So there are certain headers you can use to help with the reducing spam or specifying things like a reply to. So sometimes your from address will be different from if someone clicks on the reply button, things like that. So um, ask me if you have any questions with that, any, any additional one, but typically the default settings should be fine. Okay, great. Um, and of course, if you want to attach a file, maybe someone filled out a, a lead form and you want to say thank you for filling it out and then send them, let's say, a PDF with your brochure or something like that. Okay, great. 
uh, any changes you make, you click on save. Okay, and then um, the actual messages, these are the messages when the form gets filled out on the front end to the user. So for example, this was sent successfully or there's an error, etc. So by default, just keep it there, but if you want to play with some of them, you can do so. Okay, no problem. And additional settings, these are settings that um, can actually trigger more things for customization of your form. So a really popular one is to add Google Analytics code to add an event that if someone submits the form successfully, you trigger an analytics event. And I'll do an, another video about that later on, but it's a very simple thing. Depending on the type of analytics you have, the classic or the universal, you add another line of code which says if someone filled it, the, the form out successfully, trigger an event, a JavaScript event, and uh, you can track and then understand where your leads or contact forms are coming from and apply all of the analytics data, but that'll be in a different video. Okay, perfect. Once you finish, we're at the last step. Okay, so of course you make save to all your uh, forms, and now what you need to do is actually grab this right here that, where it says copy this short code. So basically now we need to specify where, to, after we set up the form, where does the form actually apply? So I'm gonna copy this whole thing and control C and I'm gonna go to a specific page right now and let's create a new page, okay? And let's call it video contacts, okay? And all I'm gonna do is just paste that code there. Of course I can add all of my text uh, that I want and images and all the regular stuff I can do on a page so please fill this out thanks okay and then I click on preview or publish let's click on pub publish right now and let's actually open this page right here and now I can see my page my form etc so that's it very very simple you can see by default the required fields will be required I'll get all of the notifications and that's it so Hope this video makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll be very happy to help. Thank you.